I mean, talk about a solid all-around Jordan brand release. This shoe is absolutely fire. Oh, man. <laughs> Not for myself. Oh, yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the upcoming Air Jordan 1 UNC tip. But before we dive into the sneaker review itself, let me first show you my unboxing from a couple days ago to show you guys my actual first impressions. Alright, so this is one of the most anticipated sneakers of the month and probably one of my most anticipated sneakers of the year. A shoe that uh, I think would have been a lot more hyped if it had dropped like three years ago. As it is, it's still going to be a hyped up sneaker. There should be a lot of pairs of these. I grabbed my pair from Fine Line 1721 to give you guys an early review. Not that early because they drop in like a week, but early-ish review. So without further ado, let me give you guys my first impressions of this shoe. I have not seen these shoes in person. I pretty much know what to expect because let's be honest, it's blue and black Air Jordan 1 colorway. It's not that crazy. Okay, so here is the box as expected. I guess not as expected, but as I assume, the box comes in this nice UNC blue. I actually haven't watched any reviews or unboxings of these shoes just because I didn't want to spoil anything. So here we go. Here's the box. It's UNC blue. It features what looks like a black Nike logo on the top and on the sides. The size tag of the shoe, of course, comes on the front of the box. I got a size 9, which is my true size. And the official colorway of this shoe is university blue, black, white. Now, at the time of me recording this video, there has not yet been a shock drop for this shoe, but I've heard it is coming like today or tomorrow. I think this video is going to come out like a day or two after I film this because I want to wear these around a little bit to test them out, see how they are before giving you guys my full review. Stay tuned for that. I guess you probably already know if you're watching this video, but either way, let's check them out. The box is nice, I will say. I do like the box a lot. Ooh, okay. Pretty nice. I mean, let's be honest, exactly what I expected, but still very nice. It's weird to me that Jordan Brand decided to drop a lot of Jordan 1 heat in 2023. I guess maybe it's to revive the Jordan 1s a little bit, because they're just not as hyped as they used to be. Like, two or three years ago, the taxis would have flown off shelves, and I walked into a Foot Locker in New York City like a month ago, and they were still there. There's still the pine green sitting, at least in certain stores, and I think these have the potential to sit in some sizes in some stores. That being said, this colorway is definitely a colorway that I think will be more popular than the pine greens or the taxis, so I do see these probably selling out, but uh, not being impossible to get because I've heard there's a lot of stock. Black laces starting the shoes, and then we also get in this uh, box some UNC blue laces, which is cool. It's pretty standard. They are really nice, but uh, it's nothing out of the ordinary. So why don't I throw these guys on, wear them for a couple days, and uh, let you know how they feel. So this shoe officially releases on July 22nd in full family sizing for a retail price, at least in men's sizing, of $180. Which, yes, is high for Jordan 1s, but we've been seeing the price of Jordan 1s and pretty much every other sneaker that Nike and Jordan brand makes go up over the last couple years. So it's not that surprising. It just sucks buying Jordan 1s for $180 when... Like four or five years ago, they were like 160, 150 even. But hey, complaining aside, this is genuinely a very solid release and one that I think a lot of people are gonna be into. Even though the Jordan 1 hype is not what it used to be and the Jordan 1 highs aren't even as popular as Jordan 1 lows right now, it's still a shoe that I think a lot of people are gonna be going for because of its super clean color blocking and because of the fact that it's loosely associated with UNC. So while this isn't the first time that we've gotten this color blocking on a pair of Air Jordan 1s, it's the first time that we've had it in standard tumbled leather and in men's size. And I'm I'm really glad the Jordan brand finally decided to release it and from what I'm hearing, not confirmed at all, but there should be a lot of pairs of these available so it shouldn't be that difficult to grab a pair for yourself, especially with people not buying Jordan 1s as much as they used to. But if you're not familiar with this color blocking or why this color blocking is so popular, UNC Blue or the University of North Carolina Blue is a very popular colorway on Jordan sneakers because that's where Michael Jordan went to college and had some of his most iconic games. So although Jordan sneakers are usually associated with Bulls colors like red, white, and black, UNC Jordan sneakers are also incredibly popular because of the history and also because of the fact that UNC gets a lot of crazy PEs, which sometimes look like this. So Jordan brand is absolutely playing into the hype by releasing this colorway. It's not officially called the UNC Toe Air Jordan 1s. Jordan brands kind of moved away from naming their sneakers the nickname that people give them instead giving them some like lame name, like I'm sure this is going to be called the Jordan 1 University Blue or something like that. They haven't actually officially released the name on the sneakers app yet, so we don't know for sure, but that's what I'm expecting. But that association with the UNC is absolutely implied with this colorway. But now let's get into the materials that make up this pair of Air Jordan 1s. And starting off around the toe of the sneaker on the mud guard, you've got a very standard black Jordan brand leather, which I'll be honest, is not that great. I mean, it's mass produced leather. It's not going to be amazing, but at the same time, I was kind of hoping for a little bit better leather when I'm paying $180. But again, though, it's mass produced. You can't expect that much. This black leather doesn't really have much of a texture, at least not any kind of tumbled texture. However, when you move to the toe of the sneaker, you do have this nice UNC blue leather, which comes with a pretty heavy 
tumble texture, which of course is added after the fact. It's not actually an indicator of quality, but it does look nice. It's also a little bit softer than the black leather, and it might just be that the toe of the sneaker is just softer in general than the mud guard. As you move up in the shoe, you get to the black leather eye stay of the sneaker, and of course you've got these flat black laces that weave through the eyelets on the shoe. As I mentioned before, you also get a second set of laces inside the box in their own little box. They're uh, UNC blue laces, and I think if you actually switched out the laces to the UNC blue laces, this would look a lot more like a PE. I personally prefer the black laces though. I like how it really, uh, I hate that I'm going to say this again, but ties the uh, the colorway together. I do that in every review. I always try not to, but it just happens naturally. I'm sorry. But hey, if you want to switch out the laces, you do have another option, so that's good to keep in mind. Underneath the laces, you have a pretty standard black nylon tongue, and at the top of the tongue, you've got a black tag with a Nike Air embroidered into it in UNC blue, or University blue. Again, very heavily implied, but never said. Moving inside the sneaker, you've got a black fabric sock liner, and rounding off the inside of the shoe, you've got a black insole with the Nike Air printed on the heel in blue. But at this point, let's talk about sizing and fit of the UNC Toe Air Jordan 1s. And to do that, I'm gonna show you guys a clip from me trying these shoes on for the first time a couple days ago. Got some new shoes to show you. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, let's try this pair on. It's a pair of Jordan 1s. I'm expecting you to fit like a standard pair of Jordan 1s. We've been reviewing a lot of Jordan 1s on the channel recently. That's mainly because there's a lot of Jordan 1s dropping. I also love Jordan 1s. I'd review other sneakers if there were other sneakers dropping, but there really isn't. So, but we're going with this. What's up, Ben? Um, I got toothpaste on my pants. I didn't realize, so I just started filming, so that's great. Let's throw these guys on. I'll give you guys my first impressions of fit and feel and whether they feel just like a standard pair of Jordan 1s. Before we do that, though, I just want to shout out my sock brand apothecary. You guys know it probably if you watch my videos. It's available in Zoomies, it's available at Takeout and Why. It's also available on our website apothecary.com. We've got a lot of cool collections coming. We've actually got a collaboration with Hess Kicks coming, which is gonna be sick, so stay tuned for that. But let's just go for the first try on. Okay, Ben, all right, well, he's part of this now. I would say that it feels just like a standard pair of Jordan 1s. I didn't expect anything different, but what's up, bud? That's really what it feels like. I grabbed a size nine, which is my true size. That's usually what I recommend. <laughs> True to size is the way to go, at least if you wear Jordan 1s. You go with your standard Jordan 1 size. I think it looks great with this Apothecary Sneaker Heaven T. If you want to grab that as well, link in the description below. But yeah, sizing wise, it's the same as usual, so uh, I guess back to the studio. Continuing back in the shoe to the midfoot, you've got this one white leather panel, and then on top of that, you've got this black leather Nike swoosh. Both leather panels and Nike swooshes are fine. It's nothing crazy, it's nothing that great. Again, it's pretty standard Air Jordan leather. And then moving even farther back in the shoe, you've got more of that UNC blue leather. And of course, like the UNC blue leather on the toe, it's also very heavily tumbled. Of course, on the lateral side of the sneaker, you've got this embossed Wings logo in black, which reminds me a lot of those 1985 pairs, which all feature the embossed Wings logo rather than the debossed Wings logo, which means it's pushed in rather than pushed out. The pushed out version is like the original version of the shoe. If you look at like 2015 pairs of Air Jordan 1s, they're all debossed into the shoe which I don't think looks as good, so I really like that Jordan brand is embossing the logos now. Around the top of the ankle, you've got some more pretty standard black leather, and then moving down on the sneaker, you've got a white midsole, rounded off by a UNC blue rubber outsole. But really quick, why don't we get some other people's opinions on this shoe? Okay, so I'm gonna give you a pair of shoes, close your eyes, guess what it is, and then uh, give me a reaction when you open your eyes. Feels like a, a Jordan 1, feels like a Jordan 1 for sure. What color do you think it is? No idea. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Are these, uh, what, U UNC? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Would you rock those over, like, a Chicago one, or, like, a... Um, I feel like I'm a purist, so I would just, like, go with the OG colors, but these these are pretty cool. I would grab them for retail. Oh, you already well, know. I saw that. Okay, so I'll just show it to you. Oh, man. <laughs> nice, the leather quality's good. It's all right. I wouldn't wear it, but it's, it's a good one. I'm sure it'll sell out. Yeah, close your eyes, and then I'll hand it to you, and then guess the shoe and the colorway. I'm sure you, you might have already heard what shoe it is, but not the colorway. It feels like a Jordan 1. Got it. Okay. And then if you had to guess the colorway, I think upcoming Jordan 1. Feel the color. Is it uh, the mochas you showed me the other day? No. <laughs> I don't really don't know what's dropping. Okay. You can, yeah, you can open your eyes. No, these are cool. What do you think? Would you buy them? Not for myself. For a girl or something. They're cool though. I like the colors. So yes, this shoe is very simple. It's very similar to a lot of other Jordan 1s. In fact, it's very similar to most Jordan 1s. Most closely, the bread toe ones or the shattered backboards or any Jordan 1 that features color blocking that has the accent color on the heel and on the toe. But uh, it's a very clean look. It's a shoe that I think a lot of people are going to be excited about. It's a very wearable colorway, especially if you're looking for blue Jordan 1s. And personally, I think the shoe is going to hit. I think people are going to lose their minds for this shoe. Maybe not as much as the Reimagined 3s or the Lost and Found 1s or anything like that, but I think it's going to be a very solid release that will sell out probably on release day or maybe through the next couple days after release. I don't think it's going to be sitting for that long. But with that, we pretty much wrap up the video for today. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.